Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You are in my entryway right now, so welcome to my home as well. Today I'm actually gonna share tips on how to style a console table. I'm gonna share two different ways that I typically like to style my console table, one being this more moody, dark way, and then I'm gonna do more of like a lighter, brighter way. As always, I will have everything linked in the video description box down below. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's start with a clean slate. So first off, my console table is from Wayfair. It is a lookalike for a restoration hardware coffee table that I absolutely love, but I didn't wanna spend the price. I found this on Wayfair. We bought it when we first moved into this house and it's like the only console table I've kept here because I just haven't wanted to get a new one. I love this one. Next, this is a big oversized mirror. It's also from Wayfair and it is the largest size that it comes in. It also comes in gold and a few other colors. Um, it is such just a great statement piece. This is a really big space. The ceilings are high, so we wanted a mirror that was really big and oversized and would just like open up this wall even more. I also added this lamp. Um, I like to have a lamp on right when you walk in the front door. I think it's super cozy and I like to have it turn on at night. Just like when you walk, walk in and you have a little light on, I think it's super cozy. This one's like a really pretty terracotta lamp. It's very similar to a Pottery Barn one that's much more expensive. So I'll make sure to link this exact one because it is such a nice lamp and I love the like darker kind of like vanilla colored shade um, with this like textured pretty bottom here. All right, next, baskets. I love using baskets under the console table because it actually makes that area useful. For us, we put the kids' shoes in them. So I have one for my son here and one for my daughter so they can always find their shoes right away. We don't have like an entryway closet or anything, so that's really easy for them to put their shoes on in the morning and head out the door. These actual baskets are from Target. They're sold out now, but I will definitely link some similar ones down below. I've had these for so long. They're just like the perfect size to fit under here and the kids can easily just pull that out and get their shoes out. But I've also done different ways and I will style it a different way later in the video instead of using like the two baskets like this. There's lots of other ways you can style down there as well. I love to use a print as well. So it's not just, you know, the mirror and a bunch of decor. Plus this also adds like a little more height. So I got this one from Amazon. It does come in quite a few different sizes as well. If you don't want this big of a size, you can do something smaller. I like to just kind of offset it with the lamp. So I kind of just put it centered like between the mirror, like it's a little bit more to the side. I'll just kind of play with it and figure out how I like it. Maybe a little bit more over this way. I also like to add height in the center. Like I like to do height at different, you know, kind of a little varying heights. So I'm gonna do another like statement piece right around here and I'm gonna do some branches in it. Um, I'll either like buy branches on Amazon or wherever or like Michael's has some really good ones sometimes or you can even get branches from your backyard like from trees, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna use these little faux um, olive branches that I got from Amazon. They are really affordable and this is a set, this is like two sets of them. So I do get like quite, you know, so it's nice and oversized and chunky and I love these cause they do look super, super realistic as well. I love a good coffee table book. This is a new one that I got recently on Amazon. It's just super oversized. It's the colors, fits my color scheme in my house. Plus I love to look through these. I'm actually gonna scoot this over a tad. I'm gonna start a little stack over here next to the lamp. I got this little set from Amazon. It came with three of these little like storage, like little chest things. I'm gonna use one of them to add, just to have like, I like to like layer in threes. So I'm gonna add this on top of the coffee table book and then adding something like this, whether it's like a little knot, a chain, one of those little donuts. I like this one because it's like different shapes. I'm gonna add that over the top just to like bring in a little bit of wood element to it. I like to mix woods, things that are glossy, things that are textured, however you like that to lay. All right, so like I said, this is very like bumpy, 
This is kind of smooth, but a little bumpy. And then this is like very glossy. I got this from Amazon, this vase. I just thought it was really unique looking. I'm just gonna stick that one kind of next to this so we get a little bit of white, black. You know, we have our wood. And then I'm gonna kind of go a little bit this way. So I just got this from Amazon, this really pretty little dough, dough bowl. I love the shape of this. And then I added these green moss balls from Amazon to kind of play off the green here from the faux olive branches. I'm just gonna stick that here. And then I'm just gonna add one more little piece on the side. I recently grabbed this off Amazon, this little like sculpture piece. I just think it's fun. It adds a little bit of something different and unique. And I'm just gonna kind of end, kind of cap it off right there. So I have endings, I have a little middle, I have some tall, I have some wood, I have some green, I have black, white, gold. We do have quite a bit of gold in our house too. And plus wood, wicker. I just love how it all comes together. I feel like it's so beautiful. It is like darker and moody, very neutral. So I will do something a little bit brighter next. All right, this is the second way I've decorated it, keeping everything a lot lighter, brighter, but still having pops of black in so we could tie in the mirror, tie in like the do front doors, and then a lot of the hardware in our house is black as well. It's nice and bright, perfect for spring and summer, and yeah, I'll show you guys how I did it. All right, so breaking it down, starting with the basics again, same console table, same mirror, Instead of doing the baskets on the bottom this time, I'm actually using these like poof ottoman things. I got them from Target. We use them all over the house. I think they look kind of neat and tidy underneath the console like this. And then you can also use them to pull out to use when putting on your shoes. I love the little texture that they have. We use them everywhere in our house to sit on in the living room, next to console tables, under console tables. I just think they're really cool. And then for this end, instead of a lamp, I'm gonna use an oversized vase. This one is so pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's making me talk hollow inside. <laughs> it's terracotta. It's from Pottery Barn, and it's a very nice like, oversized statement piece. So that's why I'm gonna put it on the end. I'm also gonna build some height out of the vase with these awesome faux cherry blossoms. So I got these from Amazon. They come in a set of three. So you get three like this. I have about two and a half sets right here. I bought these years ago and I still continue to use these in so many rooms in my house. I just lost one of the blossoms, but I love them. They're so realistic looking and they're stunning. I'm just gonna keep going down the console table. This is very heavy. This is also from Pottery Barn. It's this massive oversized urn slash jug slash vase. It's so unique. And I love the two of these together. They're so beautiful together. I'm going in with this little guy, this little Amazon find. It looks like a little donut or circles together. Just to bring in a little bit of black. There is some black on this vase. I'm just gonna put it kind of like right in between the two in the front. And then this time, I'm gonna do a big oversized tray bowl thing. This is one of my favorite finds from Amazon. You guys have seen me style it before. It's from the Bloomingville brand. It is like this really cool, unique, handmade piece. And I'm gonna use that to kind of style some smaller pieces right here in the center of the table. I'm also gonna even out my height. So we do have some height down here with this print that I got from Target. It actually comes as a set of two, but I'm just using one of them today. It's nice and neutral, super pretty, and I'm just gonna use it kind of how I used the last print. I'm just gonna put it on this side, pull that up a little, and that way we have some height kind of going down the table. All right, now I'm gonna start decorating that tray in the middle. I got this really cool little paper mache bowl I'm gonna add for some texture, and then you can also just toss your keys in it when you walk in the front door. I'm also adding a black candle so we can bring in some black again. Kind of put those together. And then I'm gonna add these, you guys. Look how pretty these are. These little candle holders. They're marble from Amazon. They have, they have a set of two in the white, and they also have two in the black. I'm gonna use both of them. It's like the taller one in the back, shorter one in the front. I'm gonna add this pretty vase from last time as well, just because I like it, and it adds something glossy and different. 
I'm gonna go with that next. And then I'm gonna try to do something different with coffee table books this time. Instead of just laying them down, I'm gonna try to stand them up with some bookends. I got these really fancy bookends from Amazon, Bloomingville brand, stunning, like little marble bookends. So I'm gonna use those down here, and then I'm just gonna grab three coffee table books. All right, I'm gonna grab these three. They're very neutral, but they do have a pop of black just in like the text on them. And I'm going to put them right in between the bookends. And this will add a little bit of height to the table as well, instead of just laying them down, just gives it a different vibe. I love how this one turned out. Really soft, neutral, pops in black, really pretty and welcoming when you come in the front door. All right guys, so that's both ways to style a console table. Just a couple ideas to maybe help you like rearrange your console table at home and just give you some ideas of how you can mix patterns, textures, heights, and all the different things. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything will be linked down below in the video description box. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more home decor videos, affordable fashion, Amazon, Walmart, Target, all the affordable finds. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.